I got some of that Jack Black lip stuff. Jack Black? Yeah, remember we had a whole thing where like Jack Black makes lip balm? I got some lavender. Oh, I'm wearing a Hello Lovely mood reading. I feel like everybody always loves that shirt. I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I've ever written it out. Written it out. From Goodwill. I don't think I've ever worn it outside. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, maybe. I'll give you that. Anyway, so can we open the roof really quick? Yeah, I have to ask permission. Well, the last time I touched it, you were like, what are you doing? Well, that's because you'd be what doing, doing more than necessary. What are you doing? Wow, a halo on Monique's head. She just did her hair today. I did. I did too, but I look like a frizz ball. I do too, I have frizz, see? Yeah, I'm gonna do a nice little zoom in on that. <laughs> Anywho, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or to the Roomies Digest. My name's Christine. I'm Mo. And today we're doing something really fun. Yes. I mean, we do fun stuff all the time, <laughs> I think. So let me plug all of our other videos if you haven't watched them. No, I'm just kidding. Check them out. Uh, yeah, I mean, check them out. That'd be cool. But anyway, so today we're going to the Reese's Book Club pop-up shop, mm. which is in L.A., weirdly enough. We got an ad for this um, on Instagram. So thank you so much, Instagram. Not sponsored. But, um, you know, we got an ad for this and we were like, wow, we can actually go and do this and show people what this pop-up shop is all about. So that's what we're doing today. Yep. We're gonna hopefully get some books, get some get some cute books, yep. and see what this place is all about. So join us on this journey. On this journey. Yeah. Already out, Alrighty. righty. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. final portion of this vlog where we get to show you all the cute things that we bought at Reese's Book Club. Monique bought so many things that she actually got a bag with her purchase. 
which she'll show you here. I got so many things. I got one more thing than you. Well, they packaged it up real nice. I for said you. I wanted the bag. I know it's a nice bag too. I know. Thick little handles. Look at this I found. It's called Within These Wicked Walls. It's for YA, Reese's YA Club. And it's like kind of like a gothic, like a Mexican gothic meets, what does it say? Mexican Gothic and Jane Eyre. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'm about this. I'm excited. And it looks really cool. The cover is very pretty. Oh, the girl is an exorcist that's hired to like clean out that, like clean the houses, like these homes. And then there she meets a rich like patron named Magnus that hires her. And then things just kind of you know go from there of course this job is different from all the other jobs she's done because mm -hmm. she's a professional that's right so it's kind of like mexican gothic in that regard really pretty and no really the, the colors. colors and then her profile i was like okay yeah, she's looking cool all right andromeda yeah and like the cool thing about reese's book club the pop-up shop is that they have all the books from like the current book club picks um and then also the like ya book club that she has so i don't know if you guys could kind of like see that in the footage they have all the books that yeah. she's ever picked yeah and then obviously they did have like a couple of fun things you could do in the pop-up like they had complimentary coffee they had some um lemon cake i think oh yeah italy yeah from italy no, i haven't been to italy yet but it has been hyped up to me so much i was like is that italy yeah it's literally a restaurant that's in the mall that we were in highly recommended italian obviously you guys saw the selfie station that reese had set up as well as all the fun like little trinkets and like bookish items that are just kind of there you know to promote you know reese's other endeavors but overall it's pretty fun so anyway the book that i ended up picking out was saint Coffa. this is about a young woman who finds out some information about her dad and kind of like why he went back to africa mm -hmm. um and so kind of in search of him and getting more information from him she comes upon these like diary entries um from like when he was in uh, like a radical like political movement in the 1970s and uh, she kind of follows these clues to getting back to West Africa which is where he ended up and like she's trying to find him so I really like the last line of the inside cover uh, it says Sinkofa is a story for anyone who has ever gone looking for a clear identity or home and found something more complex in its place so yeah so she basically is just going to find her roots in Africa and, and her dad and she ends up finding a lot more than she thought. I've just kind of seen this floating around on bookstagram and also the cover is so eye-catching and so pretty. That's what I got. Cool. And then for me I also oh what's this? Oh uh they give you a little preview of some of the oh, things they, give they you have recipes available. that you can make for the holidays. Oh yeah yeah that's cool. I'm definitely gonna do this deep dive hot cocoa Anyway, the last book I got, I thought there was supposed to be bookmarks. Ah, here are the bookmarks. Emotional materials. I was like, where are the bookmarks? You didn't give me any bookmarks. Because you didn't get a bag. How come she gave you five? You want one? Sorry, I saved one. What's she going to do with four bookmarks? It's literally just a Hey Google bookmark. I know. Anyway, the last book I picked out was called Still Lies by Maria Hummel. And this is why I picked this up is because the, um, the main character, Kim Lord, she's like does these exhibitions called Still Lies that features portraits of herself where she is the person that is murdered. Ooh. Yeah, right? And a little dark and scary. Hold on. I think I'm saying it wrong still. Features portraits in which she depicts herself as famous murdered women. And then they just get like more disturbing. And so when the artist doesn't show up to her own like exhibition. They're like, oh shoot, like, she's dead for What's real. happening? So that her editor goes and tries to figure out where the Ooh, heck she went. that sounds yes, good. Yes, right? Yeah. I was like, this is, sounds like a fun time. Like not a fun time. It sounds like a- Interesting mystery. Yeah. So that is why this was picked. I like that one. I also like the cover on that one too. And it's got this like, well, this isn't really anything, but it's got like a pull out thing. So yeah, that's it. 
These are the books. We have a fun little portion at the end of this vlog where we also saw the Squid Games pop up. Oh yeah, I made Christine take me there. Yeah. I was like, we just have to go around this corner to get back to the car, you know? It was really cool. <laughs> like, they essentially play the Squid Game, the like, what is it? Fast the red light, green light yeah. game. It's like the one where that crazy doll, you'll see. Yeah. I'm sure the clips are somewhere. Yeah, they're right after this. But they're, I mean, it's like really huge and cool. And they play the game. We got there right when they stopped playing. So we just, we had a chance to like take pictures. Which is honestly what I probably would have wanted. Yeah, because I don't think you would have wanted to play the game. If I played the game, people would have actually been hurt. I don't think that is true. But anyway, we'll never know because we were safe. From yeah, that. but we did take some photos and it's a fun, cute little bit at the end of this vlog. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It was really cool. It was a fun little pop up. Yeah. Um, it's in a cool location. Yep. You know, some other shopping while we were there. I wonder if there's like there's like some everywhere, like around the country or I like don't world. Oh, maybe in like malls, like bigger malls, probably. Yeah, because it was fun. It was nice to go and browse. and like shop all the books. I was gonna buy these cup cup holders. I was gonna buy these like oven mitts, but they were expensive. I was like, Miss Reese, why are them oven mitts forty five dollars? Yeah, I didn't get sold on none of that. I was close because like we need them. You know, I burnt my hand cooking for Thanksgiving. Oh anyway. yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these type of videos, let us know in the comments if you've read any of these books or your favorite book from Reese's Book Club. Because I know a lot of people prefer the YA books, I've heard. Mm -hmm. Some people, you know, might not even know she had a book club. I don't see how, but she does. I know. So yeah, again, let us know in the comments what you're thinking. And give us a like if you like this. And subscribe if you haven't. Notification bell, you know. Let you know when we're uploading. When we do upload. And um, I think that is it for the announcements. Again, until next time, I'm Monique. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>